In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can use the Nano Text Editor on Raspberry Pi operating system so you can easily edit files directly from the terminal. So to open a terminal, first you just click here on this icon on the bar or just click on the menu, Accessories, Terminal. All right, I'm going to go, so I am in my home directory. I have created a my files directory, so I am in my files directory, which is now empty, as you can see. So I'm going to create a file and edit it with nano, okay? So you know that to create a file, you can use the touch command, but actually we can directly create and edit a new file with the nano command. So let's name this file test. So you just do nano and then name of the file. And if the file doesn't exist, it's going to be created. You press enter. And now we are editing the file test. Okay, as you can see, I don't have any extension. Okay, because on Linux, extensions are not necessary. You could name it test.txt or without txt. That's the same. That's going to be a text file. So now you can see this interface. And well, if you just start typing, so this is some text. Well, you can just do as you would do in any other uh, text editor. So you just press enter to go back to a new line. Okay, uh, you can do, so this is a new line, etc. Okay, you can just press enter, write some text, and then with the arrows of the keyboard, you can navigate. Okay, you can't navigate with the mouse, as you can see but with the arrows on the keyboard, all right? So that's how you write some text. So that's super easy to do. And then you can see you have some shortcuts on the bottom. So you can see you have different shortcuts with the help. And one of the most important one when you start is how to save the file and how to exit from the file, okay? How to come back to the terminal, for example. You can see you have here, this means control. So you have control, X. Okay, so if I do control X and you can see save modify buffer, okay, you can select yes or no. So to select yes, you press Y, to select no, you press N. So if I do Y, okay, it's gonna show file name to write test and then I press enter and now my file is here. I have a new file. If I do cat test, I can see that this is the text I have written in the test file. So I have successfully created a file, put some text into it and saved it and came back to the terminal. And now, so with Nano, you can, as you can see, create new files, but you can also edit an existing file, okay? So if I just do Nano test, I'm going to go back to this. As you can see, Nano test, I'm going to come back to the same file, okay? I do control X to exit. I can come back to the file from anywhere. So let's say I am in my home directory, okay? So I don't have direct access to the test. Okay, I need first to go to my files directory, but I can do nano my files slash test, and I'm going to edit the test file. Okay, and now I can edit it. I can add uh, other lines, etc. And if I want to save also, so I don't necessarily need to quit the file uh, to save it, I can just do Control S. Okay, as you can see, when I do Control S, this here changes route 15 lines, okay? So I do Control S, and then if I want, I can continue to edit, etc. I can do Control S again, and then I can quit. I can exit the file with Control X. And now, as you can see, because I already saved the file, and there is nothing new, I can just exit the file without any other confirmation. And you can see now, so cat my files test, the file has been modified. So that's pretty much it. To use nano, you just do a nano on the terminal with the name of the file. If it already exists, it's gonna uh, open it and edit it. If not, it's gonna create a new file, okay? And when you save it, it's gonna save the file. That's it, that's pretty much it. And this is going to be super useful, for example, when you need to edit configuration files on your Raspberry Pi. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step-by-step, step, 
in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.